Good day, yoga people. This is Stephen Chang coming to you live from Simha Yoga Lab in Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the full streaming schedule and for my uh, account for, pen, uh, for Venmo and for PayPal. My preferred way of payment is through Venmo, and my um, handle is Simha Yoga Lab, and the four digit ID code is 8096 if you're prompted for verification. Classes are $10, and if you're having a difficult time right now, $5 is fine. Please do the best you can. I'm streaming on Instagram and on Facebook, and then the videos are uploaded to my YouTube channel. Um, if you're thinking about coming to the studio for in-studio practice, again, please visit my website, simhayoga.com, and the instructions for pre-registration is all listed on there in the section that is in pink text. There is um, a waiver that you have to download and then e-sign. And then when you pre-register through email, please attach that waiver. It is very important for contact tracing and for liability. So please make sure you do that. Um, it, today's class is intermediate advanced. It is a level two and level three. For those of you working with injuries, special limitations um, or conditions, Please make sure that you are uh, checking in. If I'm going to live out your range, please pull back a little bit or to modify poses as you need. Very important for you to um, make some good decisions about what is appropriate, what is not appropriate for your condition. Um, if we're holding a pose, it is uh, the opportunity for you to kind of explore your practice. If you know variations, please feel free to take anything you want. Um, all right, so for those of you with tight lower backs and hips, please elevate and sit up on the block. All right, so you can also sit up on a blanket or a towel. Okay, let the palms face up. And the fingers come together on mudra from an index finger touching. Ground evenly through your seat, let the shoulders broaden. Let your inhales even out with your exhale. Smoothing out the breath, let the mind start to come. Three arms together, inhale. Ah. Ah. closed, hands together in prayer, and up the heart, pressing the thumbs into your heart, heart back into the thumbs, lifting the heart up towards the sky, setting your intention for yoga practice, devoting your practice to someone or something or to yourself, your supreme self that lives within your heart, chanting the mantra for purification, purifying the space in which you practice yoga, call and response. Om Mahavitraha, Om Mahavitraha, Pavitrava, Pavitrava, Sarva Vushta, Sarva Vushta, Kato Piva, Kato Piva, Yaha Smari, Yaha Smari, Vundrikaksham, Vundrikaksham, Sabahya, Sabahya, Pihyendraha, Pihyendraha, Suchihi, Suchihi. Beginning to open the eyes and let the palms face up. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the left side. Elongate through the left side of the neck. And take the chin toward the right shoulder. Release back to center. Drop the right hand. Left ear to the left shoulder. Left hand to the right side. And then the chin toward the left shoulder. Release.
face back to center, drop left hand, chin toward the chest. Make circles with the head in one direction. Here to one side, roll it back. Opposite side, roll it center. Take a few more rounds at your own pace. Chin back to center and pause. And then take in the opposite direction. And back to center again. Lift the chin parallel to the floor and lift your spine. Coming off your blocks and extend the legs forward, separating your feet. Hands are supporting. Turn your toes toward each other. And then roll out. Draw in, roll out, draw in, outer rotation, circling. Back to center, switch them around. And take it back to center again. Cross your shins, opposite shin on top. Raise the arms up high and extend. Twist to the right on the exhale. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, other side. Back to center again. Side bends, right hand down, left arm overhead. Back to center, other side. Back to center again, legs forward, forward fold. Take it back up again, swing the legs back behind you for down dog and pedal out your legs. All right, come back to stillness and your down dog. Inhale, take it forward into your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. In the down dog, bend the knees almost all the way down, and then lengthen out the legs. Bend the knees, lengthen out the legs. One more time, bend the knees, lengthen out the legs. Arms this time, bend the elbows, lengthen it back out. Bend the elbow, lengthen back out, bend the elbows, lengthen both the arms and the legs. Bend. Lengthen, bend, lengthen, bend, lengthen. Come back to your down dog, right heel up, three-legged dog, right knee in toward the nose. Three times, kick it up, right knee in, kick it up, right knee in, kick it up. Step the right foot forward, warrior one, exhale, open it up, warrior two. Back to your warrior one, left hand down, forward and up. Open it up, warrior two, one more time. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Lengthen front leg and reach up. Bend the front knee, warrior two. Lengthen reach up, warrior two. Lengthen reach up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Extended side angle. Half balance side angle. Keep the half five. Come up. Reverse warrior. Hands to the floor. Right foot stepping back. Plank. In a one breath. Exhale. Chaturanga. In up dog. Exhale. Down dog. Bend the elbows and lengthen three times. Bend the elbows, lengthen. Bend the elbows, lengthen. Bend the knees, lengthen. Bend the knees, lengthen. Bend the knees, lengthen. Arms and legs at the same time. Bend, lengthen. Bend, lengthen. Bend, lengthen. Inhale, left heel up. 
Left knee in toward the nose three times. Kick up. Left knee in. Kick up. Left knee in. Kick it up again. Step the left foot forward. Warrior one. Open it up. Warrior two. Circle your right hand down. Fold it up for warrior one. Open it up. Warrior two. Inhale. Warrior one. Exhale. Warrior two. Lengthen front leg and reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Lengthen, reach up. Warrior two. Lengthen, reach up. Warrior two. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Left hand inside the foot, right arm. Extended side angle. Left hand angle. Half bound. Keep the half bind, come up, reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, left foot stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Inhale, right heel up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee, outside the right arm and touch. Kick back up, right knee to outside the right arm. Kick back up. Right knee, outside the right arm. Kick back up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee kick, over to right side. Open it back up. Right knee kick to right side. Open it back up. Right knee kick. Open it back up. Re-extend, step the right foot forward. Warrior one. Hands together in prayer, interlace, press your palms forward. Legs and front leg reach up. Bend the front knee, press forward to twist. Square center, lengthen, reach up. Bend the front knee, press forward and twist. One more. Square center, lengthen, reach up. Bend, press forward and twist. Stay twisting. Right hand behind you. Left hand out of right knee and twist. Inhale, take it back up. Warrior two, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle, up and down, two more times. Inhale, come up, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. This time, inhale, reverse. Lengthen out the right leg, a triangle. Extend it, triangle. Half bound, triangle. Keep the half bind, come up. Reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, right foot back plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left heel up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee, outside the left arm and touch. Kick back up. Left knee, outside the left arm and touch. Kick back up. Left knee out, set the left arm. Kick back up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee kick to left side. Open it back up. Left knee kick. Open it back up. Left knee kick. Open it back up, re extend. Step the left foot forward. Warrior one. Hands together and prayer. Interlace with the other thumb on top and press forward. Length and front leg reach up. Bend the front knee, press forward and twist. Square center, lengthen, reach up. Bend, press forward and twist. Square center, lengthen, reach up. Bend, press forward and twist. Stay twisting. Left hand behind you, half side. Right arm out, left knee and twist. Inhale, come back up and around. Reverse warrior, exhale, side angle, up and down, two more times. Inhale, come up, reverse, exhale, side angle, reverse, side angle. This time, inhale, come up, reverse, and then lengthen out the left leg, triangle. Extend. 
Send a triangle. Ha found triangle. Take it up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back plank. Inhale on breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Right knee comes into twist. Inhale, kick it up. Right knee comes into twist. Inhale, kick it up. Right knee comes into twist. Kick it back up. Step the right foot forward. Warrior one. Wrap the hands back behind you. Interlace. Lift up. Gaze upward. Bow forward. Devotional. Reach your left hand forward. Revolve half moon shape. Lift up, right arm up. Then left knee behind the right heel and take it down. Re-extend everything, revolve tap move. Left knee behind the right heel. Take it back up. Left knee behind the right heel. Take it back up. Find the right hand to left foot, revolve chapasana. Take it to see the spinal twist. Right hand behind you, left arm to the right leg. Back to center, counter twist. Step up to half moon. Take yoga toe lock and extend to the left side. Then lift the torso, right arm out to right side, so like an airplane. And then stand right up. Hand to big toe, extended. Ankles to knee. Reach the arms forward. Then swim the arms back. Swim the arms forward. Swim the arms back. Swim the arms forward. Swim the arms back. Swim the arms forward. Flying crow. You may stay here in just the preparation or take your hands to the floor and find your balance. When you're ready, Take it back down, rise up and through a steady warrior three. Step it back to warrior one. Open it up, warrior two, reverse warrior. Hand to the floor, right foot stepping back, lower all the way down to the belly, sphinx pose. Grab off of the elbows to measure out for your shoulders. Take the forearms parallel, press your forearms down, make sure your arms are 90 degrees. Belly, lower ribs down, lift the chest in off position. Press your hands down, lift the elbows up, Bhujangasana. If you have a little bit more in you, walk your hands back and then re-extend and lengthen a little higher. Begin to release, bending the elbows, child's pose. As a stand. I'll give you an option for those of you more advanced. Once you get to a classic headstand, release your hands to the floor, 
let me head off the floor for forearms then. Start to make your way back. Down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Left knee comes into twist. Inhale, kick up. Left knee comes into twist. Inhale, kick up. Left knee comes into twist. Kick it up again. Step the left foot forward. Warrior one. Wrap the hands back behind you. Interlace, opposite thumb on top. Lift up, gaze up. Exhale, bow forward, devotional. Release your right hand forward, the shape of revolved half moon, tip forward to bow. Then right knee behind the left heel, lower down. Kick back out and expand. Right knee behind the left heel, kick it out. Right knee behind the left heel, kick it out. Revolve to pass it up. Find the left hand to right foot and kick back. Seated spinal twist. Left hand behind you, right arm up, inhale, exhale, twist. Square back to center, counter twist to the right. Square back to center, half moon, left hand forward, rise up. Right yoga toe lock, right heel out to right side. Lift the torso, left arm out like an airplane. And then stand up into extended hands, big toe. Ankles to knee. Reach your feet back, crown of the head, arms forward, flexing your right foot. Then swim the arms back, swim the arms forward. Swim the arms back, swim the arms forward. Swim the arms back. Swim forward, flying crow. You can take preparation and stay here, hands together in prayer. We'll let the hands come to the floor and shift the weight. Just take the arm balance. Make your way back and through a steady warrior three. Step it back to warrior one. Oh, open it up, warrior two, reverse warrior, hands to the floor, left foot back, and again, lower all the way down, Bhujangasana, right, grabbing opposite elbows for shoulder swift, forearms down, flatten your forearms and your palms. Uh, arms are 90 degrees, belly and ribs to the floor, as you resist with your forearms to lift the chest. Begin to break child's pose. Again, um, your choice, headstand, uh, forearm stand or handstand. You can headstand again to come into your forearm stands. If you tried it the first time and wasn't quite successful and have some ambition to try again, right? So any inversion of your choice.
Make your way back to down dog. Inhale, right heel up, open up the hips, bend the right knee and flip. Side plank, you can take the right knee up, you can take yogic toe lock. Release, fall in triangle, flip it to the other direction. Right leg over to left side, left arm up. And then keeping the shape of that fallen triangle, thread the needle, left arm to the right side. Square back, kick the right leg up. Step the right foot forward, crescent moon. All right, so let's start with crescent moon. Left hand to the floor, right hand to right thigh. Keep the left toes pointed and just lift the left knee. Once you have that lift, lean the hips forwards and downwards. Get a nice extension through the front of the left leg. If you want to eat, add on a twist to the right, you can press into your right thigh and twist to the right. All right, release. Start to make your way up. Crescent moon, kapiasana. You can take any additional variations you like. All right, so all those are simple. Um, uh, variations, hands back behind you, heart opener, right? Side bending left, side bending right. Okay, if you want to take your mermaids, go ahead and take your mermaids. For those of you who are feeling more adventurous today, it is um, peacock to the left. So, you're gonna turn to your left side, take the knees down, flip the palms the other way. Lean forward, elbows to the ribs, lift. You can walk your feet wider to take a wide legged peacock. For some of us, that might be easier to balance. If you want to take the legs back instead, you can do that too. Your choice. Right? Or if you don't quite have the full balance and you want to keep the knees bent, right? you can do the assisted one, just like your push-up, with the knees bent. All right, as long as you can sustain a little bit of hold time, you can work from there. All right, make my way back. Give me two more breaths. All right, let's take the hands, the inside the right foot, turn your right toes out, walk your left hand a little bit wider. Let's start with an extension, right arm over the right ear. Then circle your right arm forward and around the right shin and fold. So this is more like a lizard. Then come back up to bind. Right hand to left foot and kick back to twist. And with that bind, let's come back forward, square your torso, draw the left heel in toward the seat, and fold once again. And so this is more intense because you have, you have the hand, right hand to your left foot. Begin to break, release your left foot, raise your right arm back up, and let's thread the needle. Right hand to your left side, bend your left elbow, take the right shoulder, right cheek towards the floor. Let's 
take the back up, turn the right toes forward, up split. Step the right foot down, into right foot further forward, lean forward, we'll take the full split. Shift back again, one more time. We're working for full split now. If you have your blocks and need to block to your hands or to your hamstrings or to your seat, go ahead and start to take it. Otherwise, right knee forward, left heel back, right, knee, right heel forward, left knee back. All right, work into your split uh, mindfully, safely, best you can. Keep your hands supporting, right, if you need the help. All right, let's start to break. With your hands supporting, lift the feet. Be light on the front heel and drag the foot back. Lunge back forward, palms flat. Step the right foot back, extend the balasana. Heels together, toes apart, apart, and just draw the seat toward the heels. And Make your way back to the down dog. Left heel up, open up the hips, bend the left knee and flip. Bakshi stops in a side plank, pick up the left foot, draw the left knee in. If you want to take your big toe lock or hand to knee, any variations you like. Release to flip. Fall in triangle, left leg, over to the right side. Stay in that fall in triangle and thread the needle, right hand underneath the left arm, and twist. Release right hand, kick the left leg back up, and step the left foot forward, crescent moon, right knee comes down. All right, so right hand to the floor for support. Actually, did we take the side stretch first? I think we took the side stretch first, right? Left arm overhead. Oh, no, actually, we did. We took this first. Left hand to left thigh, right hand to the floor. Point the right toes back and lift the right thigh or right knee. And then lean forward. Get into the stretch of the quads, into the hip, into the shin, the top of the foot. And then if you want to add on the twist. Square back, right knee comes down. Reach your left arm overhead. Ah, sorry, right hand a little bit wider first. Reach your left arm overhead. Side stretch. Then wrap the left arm around the left shin. I forgot another thing. Turn the left toes out first. Let's take the side stretch again. And then wrap around the left arm, around the left shin, and fold. Lift back up. Then bind the left hand to the right foot and kick it back to twist. You may stay there or square the torso, draw the right heel in and fold forward. So notice with the right hand binding to the le left hand binding to the right foot, when you draw forward, it's a lot more intense. Take it back up, release. Raise your left arm back up and then threading the needle. Right hand. 
Andini. Square back to center, left leg forward, crescent moon. Then, if you took additional variations, right? If you took the hands back behind you, if you took a side bend, right? And then your mermaids. Lastly, if you're working with um, peacock, right? You can take the knees down, facing the right side this time. Flip the palms the other way so they're um, uh, pointing behind you, bend the elbows, press your upper arms to your ribs, and then again, you have your choices, right? You can take the full expression of the pose, legs extended and lift. You can take the modify with the knees bent and lift. You can take the legs out into a straddle. So in your straddle with the legs extended, because your legs are not behind you, but to the sides of you, it actually gives you an easier balance, right? All right, working all those things. I'll give you a few more breaths. All right, let's release. Hands to either side of the left foot, tuck the back toes, half seat. Step the left foot down, inch your left foot a few inches further forward and continue to lunge. Shift back again for the half split. The next time we come forward, it will be your full split. So again, keep the hand supporting. As you slide the left foot forward, be light on that left heel so that you don't traction to the mat so much, right? Just be light as you can as you slide. And then you're moving the left foot forward, right knee back, left foot forward, right knee back. So incrementally work your way forward and back, forward and back. Again, use your hands, use your blocks, use your blanket. Just go, go incrementally and move slowly into your pose. Right, you can hold it pretty steady. You can take something, um, uh, uh, an option that you took on the first side, that you took anything. All right, start to make your way back. So with your hand supporting, light on the front heel so you can draw the heel back. Step the left foot down so you can lunge forward. Ground your palms, extended malasana. And make your way back to the down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Step the right foot forward, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Lengthen out the right leg. Turn the right toes to the left side. Organize your feet. Your toes should be just slightly closer than your heels. So you're slightly pigeon toed, getting more extension through the other leg. Let's side bend first. Left arm up and side bend to the right. Take it back up, side bend to your left. Take it back up, hands to the hips. Lift up for the back bend. Come up to vertical, take it forward, forward fold. All right, 
any additional variations you like. Most simple ones could be just a forward fold, yogi toe up, hands to your heels, turn your fingertips back, press your palms to the floor for a deeper forward fold. You can twist one hand to the floor, left arm up, left hand to the floor, right arm up, right? Or you can fold over one leg, walk over to one side, take a few breaths and then to the other. Those of you inverting, headstand for arm stand, handstand, anything you want. All right, start to finish up, Skandasana. So wave your hands on the floor for support. Bend your left knee, draw the feet toward the left heel. And pivot to your right heel. Let the right toes point up. All right, so let's start here. If you're hovering still, get into a hamstring stretch. And start in prayer. Let's just start here to get a nice hip opener. And then let's take it into a forward fold. Come back up now. Sit all the way down. And then let's take the full pose. Right hand to your left heel, uh, ankle, sorry. Right hand to your left ankle. Side bend over the right leg. Reach your left arm overhead and extend or bind. Begin to release, twist to your left, so wrapping the right arm around your left leg, back to center, counter twist to the right, back to center, rise back up, warrior two, reverse warrior, Hands to the floor, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Step the left foot forward, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Lengthen out the left leg, turn the left toes to the right side. Again, organize your feet. Toes a little bit closer, heels are just a little bit wider. Raise your arms up, bend your right elbow, side bend to your left. Take it back up, switch arms, side bend to the right. Take it back up, hand to the hips. Lift up for the back bend. And then come forward, straddling forward fold. Again, after you have a few breaths in, take whatever variations you want. Yogi toe lock, grab the heels, turn your hands the other way and fold forward more deeply. That's the forward fold. Again, if you haven't twisted, take the twist again. Maybe you can add on a half bind this time, right? Or if you're forward folding, you can take a half bind here as well. Pull in toward the left leg, the left hand behind you. So it's a free hand. You're not touching down to the floor with your hands, but you're using your hands as resistance to twist. And then take it the other way. So you have all of those options. If you're taking inversions again or any other transitions, feel free.
to my breath. Alrighty, start to finish up, Skandasana. Start to bend your right knee, pivot your left heel and the toes point upwards. Stay hovering here, and then maybe bring up your hands together in prayer, get into a stretch of your hamstring, openness of the hip. And then let's take a forward fold over the left leg. And take the seat down for Skandasana. Left hand to the right ankle. Side bend over the left leg. Right arm overhead. Or bind the right hand to the left foot. Start to release, make your way up and twist to the right. Square back to center, counter twist to your left. Square back to center, lift back up and through the transition of warrior two into reverse warrior. Take your way back down to Chaturanga Dog Down Dog. Left leg up for pigeon. Left knee in towards the nose. Land that shin to the floor. Measure out your pose. Elongate through the spine and make your way forward. All right, so those of you taking variations, go ahead. Start your variations. You don't need to. Um, Rest into your uh, passive pigeon. Those of you staying in basic pigeon, then just go ahead and release into the pose. Right? You don't need to even do anything more than the basic pigeon. It's a very powerful pose. Lots of hip opening, lots of release happening here without anything else. So feel free to just stay. All right, start to finish up. Walk your hands back in, tuck the back toes and press back to the down dog. And walk it out side to side. All righty, second side, raise your right leg up, right knee in towards the nose, land the shin to the floor, set up your base. Elongate through the spine, and then once you're set, make your way forward. Staying in your forearms, lift pillows with the hands. And again, those of you taking variations, go ahead and work through your variations right away. Replicate what you did on the first side. And those of you staying in passive pigeon, just enjoy.
Alrighty. Let's start to finish up. Walk your hands back in, tuck the back toes, and gently press back to the down dog and walking it out. And when you're ready, start to walk your feet forward toward your hands and take the feet down. Extend the legs forward, sliding the hands out to lower onto your back. Left knee in, twist to the right. And take it back to center, switch legs, switch arms, twist to your left. Back to center again. Happy baby. And when you're ready, step the feet to the floor, slide the legs forward. Shavasana, final relaxation. Begin to draw the breath back in and start to move the fingers and the toes. Reach the arms overhead, stretching in opposite direction. Rolling over to the right side and come up to a comfortable cross legged position. Reconnecting to an even seat, slightly spine, shoulders broad, breath deep, and let the neck be free. Inhale for all. Ah. Hands together in prayer. Bowing forward, sealing in the practice. You know, come up. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. I appreciate your time. Please visit again my website, simhayoga.com, for the full streaming schedule as well as my payment information for Venmo and for PayPal. Venmo is my preferred way of payment, and my handle is Simha Yoga Lab. And the four-digit ID code, if you're prompted for verification, is 8096. 
classes are ten dollars if you're having a difficult time right now five dollars is fine please do the best you can i'm streaming on instagram and on facebook and the videos have been uploaded to my youtube channel simha yoga lab please visit, visit any of those platforms for practice anytime 24 7 full access Okay, so please let also your friends know classes are happening and please visit the website and the platforms for practice. Um, if you're thinking about in-studio practice, please go to my website again. There is a section for instructions on how to pre-register. You do need to download the waiver and then e-sign the waiver. And then when you send in the email for pre-registration, reattach that waiver. Very important to do that. It is to serve as contact tracing and as liability. So please make sure you do that if you're interested in coming to in-studio classes. All right, thank you again for your time. Be well, take care. I will see you soon.